The Itsy Bitsy Spider is a popular children's song that has a great melody and fun finger play. It starts slow so children can clearly hear and understand the words and practice making their finger play spiders. Then it gets faster for an added challenge. Little ones love following along with the rhythm, practicing their fine motor skills. And this song also includes some weather vocabulary. Stay tuned until after the song to learn some fun activities you can do with the Itsy Bitsy Spider. Now let's get started. The Itsy Bitsy Spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. Then the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. <laughs> okay, put your fingers together. Let's do the itsy bitsy spider. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. Then the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. A little faster now. with a big, big spider. The big, big spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. Then the big, big Spider went up the spout again. <laughs> that was the Itsy Bitsy Spider. Before singing this song for the first time, show your students how to make the spider. Put the tip of the index finger on your right hand on the tip of your thumb on your left hand. Then walk your fingers up, putting the index finger of your left hand on the thumb of your right hand. Don't worry about exactly how you put your fingers together. Younger children without the dexterity to do this yet can just twist their hands next to each other or walk their fingers up their arms. Some toddlers may become frustrated when they can't make the spider gesture with their fingers. So make sure to take your time with it. It can be tricky for little hands to make exact movements and sing at the same time. If it's easier to move their hands like this or like this, that's great too. This song is great for practicing those tricky fine motor skills and developing manual dexterity. If students don't get it right away, remind them to try, try again, just like the itsy bitsy spider. The spider kept trying to climb the water spout and we can keep trying too. Try exploring the vocabulary in the song with your students, the words rain and sun and up and down. Have them make the gestures for each one. You can use these words to introduce or review opposites. The Itsy Bitsy Spider is a great song for capturing students' attention as well. Start singing the song in a quiet voice and doing the actions. The Itsy Bitsy Spider went up the water spout. 
your students will begin to become interested in what you're doing and try to follow along. It's a great way to have your students quiet down without having to raise your voice. This is also a wonderful song to use to discuss spiders. If you have a stuffed animal spider or a toy spider, try singing the song for your children using the spider as a prop. Use this as an opportunity to practice counting by counting the legs on the spider. You can also make a spider craft. In our version of the Itsy Bitsy Spider, we make a big spider and sing in a low voice. You can try other voices too, like making a super small teeny weeny baby spider and singing in a high voice. <laughs> Encourage your little ones to sing along and try making other voices too. We hope you enjoy the Itsy Bitsy Spider. Keep on singing, learning, and having fun. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out supersimple.com for more songs and resources. If you have ideas for how to use this song in the classroom or at home, let us know in the comments. And be sure to subscribe for more teaching tips. Woo!